This is the SF Productions Podcast Network. Sure thing, Mr. B. From the Pop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. You can check out our audio podcast, How I Got My Way Free Comics, on iTunes or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. Recently started recording a new podcast, the Kinescope Initiative, plug, where I review TV sitcoms in the order they were broadcast. And I've noticed a major meme in classic TV, the housekeeper. They all have a housekeeper. Whether you call them maids, servants, butlers, nannies, they are legion. (laughs) And they start with Beulah, 1939 to 1955, the prototype for the sassy African-American maid. I was going to say that was a really long time it was on, but it started on radio. Exactly. Playing the same part on various shows, including Fibber McGee and Molly, and she was so popular she got her own radio and then TV series. Oh, and uh, by the way, on radio, she was played by a white man, Marlon Hurt. (laughs) The TV show actually went through three Beulahs, Ethel Waters, Louise Beavers, and Hattie McDaniel. Um, so they just, that was probably the first instance of replacing people in a role. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. Then there's Mary Wicks, is a face you would recognize with 140 IMDb credits. She's all over classic TV. Wow. Uh, the Peter Lind Hayes Show, 1950, Halls of Ivy, 1954, and Mrs. G Goes to College in 1961. In all three cases, she was playing housekeeper, maid... So apparently, type. once you get into that, you never were without a job. Right. <laughs> As was Rita Shaw, another well-known face, and a Disney regular. Okay. At Knobs and Broom Six. Oh, all right. Uh, she was a maid-slash-housekeeper on the Tab Hunter Show, 1960, Ichabod and Me, 1961, and The Ghost and Mrs. Muir, 1968 to 70. Okay. Now, one of the most famous... Families on television mm-hmm. was in My Three Sons from 1960 to 1972. Fred McMurray did all his scenes for the season shot at either the front or the back end of the shooting. Because he wanted to play golf or actually continue doing movies. Yeah, so he wasn't there. So the sons needed somebody to run things while Steve was gone on his business trips. <laughs> the first housekeeper they had was William Frawley as Bub from 1960 to 1965. And then William Demarest as Uncle Charlie from 65 to 72. Yep. And the Andy Griffith Show from 1960 to 1968, brought in uh, Frances Bavier as Aunt B. Apparently, she was not a big fan of the show in real life and was prickly to the cast off screen, which is a shame. She also appeared as Aunt B on Mayberry RFD. And I was just about to mention that because there happened to be a Mayberry RFD marathon going on on decades this weekend. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) So that's why we know that. (laughs) Then there's Peter Loves Mary, 1960. B. Benaderet, uh, who's, of course, better known as Kate Bradley, running the Shady Rest on Petticoat Junction, as well as Betty Rubble on the Flintstones. Wasn't she also um, Jethro's mom? Yeah, um, Pearl. Yeah. Pearl Bodine. Yeah. On the early episodes of, uh, of, Betty, uh, of uh, Beverly Hillbillies. Mm-hmm. Then we have Hazel. Who is actually the title character of her show. Yeah, 1961 to 66, played by Shirley Booth. She won two Emmys for this role. She was one spot away in her career for an EGOT. What didn't she have? A Grammy. Oh. She won, like, I think three Tonys. Wow. (laughs) And she won an Academy Award. So she runs the Baxter family, and that's where you got the catchphrase, Sure thing, Mr. B. And the family then left for Japan near the end of the series, leaving the kid behind, which is another bizarre TV trope. Of the 60s, where it's just like, these actors want to leave the series, but we don't want to end the series. And so we got the kid, so what the heck? We got yeah. the kid, that's all we really need. Yeah. So, there's all these 60s TV parents just abandoning their children. <laughs> so the kid and Hazel move on to his uncle's family. <laughs> <laughs> we then have the Jetsons, 1962 to 63. Jean Vanderpile as Rosie, and Rosie was very clearly based on the Hazel character mm-hmm. because she even said, Sha thing, Mr. J. <laughs> uh, the Adams Family from 1964 to 66 with Ted Cassidy as Lurch. Quiet, 
but he can really clean a chandelier. <laughs> of course, then we had Batman in 1966 to 68 with Alan Napier as Alfred Pennyworth. He somehow kept stately Wayne Manor clean by himself, including that dusty cave. Mm -hmm. He even subbed for the Caped Crusader a few times and kept Batgirl's secret away from Bruce. Family Affair, 1966 to 71, Sebastian Cabot as Mr. French. Like my three sons, and from the same producers, Brian Keith didn't want to work all year, so the kids needed someone other than Uncle Beale to be around. Mm -hmm. It's a very treacly series. It is. Yes. <laughs> they, this was another show they were they were showing in like a marathon at one point, and it's like, wow, is this treacly? And it seemed like they do the same episodes over and over. Yeah, yeah. But. Which it's hard to tell when it's the 1960s and you're seeing it once a week. You forget that like it wasn't just the same plot as three weeks ago, but when it was an hour and a half ago, you remember. Yes. Now there was a remake in 2002 and 2003 with Tim Curry as Mr. French. Yes, and I didn't see that, but I think I saw the first episode and it was horrible. Yeah. <laughs> then we have. The Brady Bunch, 1969-74, to Ann B. Davis as Alice Nelson. She came along with the four men living all together and now had to deal with Carol and the three daughters. At least she only had to clean two bathrooms. Ew. <laughs> I wonder if she had her own bathroom there off the kitchen. We don't know. We, we never, I don't, did we ever see her quarters? I think quarters? we saw her room a few times, yeah. <laughs> she had to have her own bathroom. I would assume. She didn't have to share with the kids and didn't want to, certainly not sharing with Mike and Carol walking into their bedroom. <laughs> so she was always there making a meal in the kitchen and could advise a parent or a kid when she wasn't making wisecracks. She had a long romance with Sam the Butcher which eventually was consummated in one of the sequel series, not on screen, of course. Now, if I had to have a housekeeper, Alice is the one I'd pick. Yeah. She was there all the time. Mm -hmm. I imagine they didn't pay her anything. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Room and board. That's what you get. <laughs> one of my favorites from the era, Nanny and the Professor from 1970 to 71. Juliet Mills plays a Mary Poppins-esque magical nanny, although she denies she is. She has a sixth sense and can communicate with animals. She may or may not be several hundred years old. Yes. Then in a completely different vein, on Maud from 1972 to 1978, Esther Roll as Florida Evans. Florida was spun off into her own series, Good Times. She and John Amos were supposed to be the stars of that show, but then Jimmy J.J. Dynamite Walker took over, and both of their characters were written off over time. She was replaced on Maud by Hermione Bedadley, love the name, as Neil Nogatuck, a hard-drinking Brit who mostly made wisecracks. Mm -hmm. Then we have the Jeffersons, also from the stable of Norman Lear, 1975 to 85. Marla Gibbs as Florence Johnston. Florence's main job, since she only had to clean an apartment, mm -hmm. <laughs> was to cut George Sherman Hemsley down to size, which also wasn't that hard. They tried to spin off the Florence character into a show called Checking In, which only lasted four episodes, so she returned yeah. back to the Jeffersons. Take take a small break from Keeping House. Yeah. Then there is Robert Gume as Benson on Soap from 1977 to 79. Butler to the Tates. Um, I would have thought he was on that show for longer, thinking back. but Well, no, I because... Because he went to Benson yeah. in 1979 to 1986. He started as a kind of Greek chorus, commenting on the insanity on the soap opera parody. By the time he finished on his own series, he was lieutenant governor. And in fact, in the final episode, he was running against the governor's character, and it never resolved. They yeah. left it in a cliffhanger whether he won the governorship. Then, of course, we have Different Strokes from 1978 to 86 with Charlotte Ray as Edna Garrett, and she, too, got her own series, The Facts of Life, soon after. Heart to Heart, 1979-84, Lionel Stander as Max. He takes care of super-rich married detectives, Jonathan and Jennifer Hart. Oh. There was, of course, Robert Wagner and Stephanie Powers. Because when they met, it was murder. <laughs> Give me a break, 1981-87. Mm -hmm. Broadway star Nell Carter plays Nell, who agrees to take care of a dying woman's kids and husband. <laughs> Real cheery, huh? Yeah. Of course, they shoehorned in celebrity cameos, Whitney Houston, Sammy Davis Jr. were just two examples. Like many shows with kids, a new one was added later in the run to keep things going, Joey, whoa, Lawrence. <laughs> 
We Got It Made from 1983 to 84 featured Terry Copley as Mickey McKenzie. Two sloppy guys hire a bombshell of a maid. Misunderstanding and hijinks ensue. It moved to syndication in 87, 88. Mm -hmm. Then we had Charles in Charge from 84 to 85 with Scott Bayo as Charles, who had no last name. Apparently. I, I don't know. According to the documentation, he never had a last name. He works his way through college as a housekeeper slash babysitter. It also moved to syndication after its uh, first season, and that would be from 87 to 90. Who's the Boss? 1984-92, Tony Danza as Tony Maselli. Probably the longest-running will-they-or-won't-they in TV history, as Tony and Angela are hot and cold throughout the series. Yes. Mr. Belvedere arrived in 1985 and stayed till 1990. Christopher Hewitt as Lynn Belvedere, a British butler who winds up with an American family. A lesson is always learned along the way. I don't think either of us really ever watched this. It was part of the early ABC TGIF lineup. Yeah. Then there was The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, 1990 to 96, with Joseph Marcel as Jeffrey. Another show I rarely watched, basically a vehicle for Will Smith, and Jeffrey was the wisecracking butler. The Nanny, 1993 to 99. Fran Drescher as Fran Fine, an accidental nanny to rich kids with a long-simmering romance with Mr. Sheffield. Daniel Davis as Niles, the butler who continually fought with C.C. Babcock, Sheffield's business partner, although they later fell in love. Yeah. <laughs> as well. The show was popular enough to generate local remakes in multiple countries. Oh, that's just crazy. <laughs> you know, there's a lot more housekeepers on television, including, if you think about it, like Downton Abbey. And Upstairs Downstairs. All and, those British shows. Yeah. But we just were concentrating on this American trend yes. to make the wisecracker. Housekeepers of television, we salute you! And if you ever want to come over and take care of our house, you're more than welcome to do so. In the meantime, you can check out our audio podcast, How I Got My Wife to Read Comics, on iTunes or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. From the Pop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. Thanks for watching. Got to go do some dusting. <laughs> <laughs>